Sehr geehrter Herr Präsident, sehr geehrte President, colleagues, thank you very much indeed for your support for this resolution. I think it's very important. The Human Rights uh, Office of the United Nations in September adopted a report in which mention is made of serious, serious human rights violations in the occupied territory of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and the town or city of Sevastopol. The Human Rights Office of the UN explains how Crimean Tatars, journalists, uh, bloggers, and anybody who in the Crimea criticizes the uh, Crimean occupation or criticizes President Putin could be ar arrested, put in prison. And there are reports of people just disappearing, people being terrorized by secret services, and um, for to undergo psychiatric treatment and tortured in prison. Uh, in this motion, that we'll be voting on today. I think what is most important is that those who are uh, disappearing in uh, Putin's prisons and jails, that they be given a name so that we know who they are. And I think above and beyond that, what is important is that our external service, our embassies, the Council of Europe and the United Nations bring more pressure to bear uh, to ensure that international litigations can go and observe what is happening in uh, Crimea. We cannot have a situation, as was the case under Stalin, where people from the Crimea were just disappeared in not Stalin jails, but Putin's jails today. Um, and, and that in spite of the fact that the Russian Federation is a member of the Council of Europe. Um, we cannot think, therefore, that we cannot can do nothing. I think we need to support Ukraine's proposal that the UN General Assembly uh, take up the issue following the report, the publication of the report that I mentioned at the beginning. And I think we need to ensure that the sanctions that have been decreed following the occupation of the Crimea, that these sanctions be upheld, that we um, continue to maintain those sanctions. The Crimea is occupied, occupied territory, and therefore we need to punish those um, uh, who are violating these sanctions in the energy sector, for example.